Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> sometimes what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video by yours truly the Knights of Horror like I said in yesterday's video we are going to be talking about LA Haunted Hayride now this is another event that I have not been to and I'm very excited to go to uh, the same people who put on Dark Harbor and Not Scary Farm same production company are doing this one and I am very excited especially with the theming of Midnight Falls being like the main kind of theme for the entire event and it's set place in the 80s so I am very excited for that so uh, we're going to rank the top four uh, mazes or attractions at the event this year. Now, this is a small event. This is held at the Griffith, the Griffith Park um, in Los Angeles. And I, never, like I said, never been to it. So I'm curious to see uh, how they set this up and all that. So, yeah, here we go. Starting at number four, it's going to go to Roadkill Ranch. Now, this one sounded a little interesting. So I, I put this on the very bottom, though, because, like, the rest sound really good, and I, like I said, I've never been to the event, but it looks like this new theming and this new 80s theme and this whole like one big story is going to be filling in. And Roadkill Ranch kind of feels a little out of place with the event, and I wonder if they're doing that on purpose because this is supposed to be kind of like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre maybe type inspired area, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing that. Number three is going to go to Trick or Treat. Now this one is cool. I've seen footage of this. You actually have to go up to the people's houses. It's very interactive. They give you candy. And there's different, uh, each house is themed different for Halloween, so I think that's really cool. It's an amazing concept for a maze, especially the interactiveness. I love when uh, mazes and events put a lot of uh, interactiveness into their uh, properties because it really lets the audience kind of play with that and have fun with that, which is really fun. Uh, number two is going to go to Midnight uh, Mortuary. Now, this one sounds pretty cool. This one's like a, this one was like, when I, when I read it, I was kind of interested in it, and I cannot wait to see what we have. Uh, going on here and much like the other ones this is a new one so uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what this one has to bring to the table and of course number one is gonna go to the hayride itself now I've watched the hayride on YouTube every year and I've always wanted to go and this year it seems like it's gonna be a really cool year we got a little bit of a preview at Midsummer Scream when they brought the gas station over for Midnight Falls to uh, Midsummer Scream like the facade and stuff so they said we're gonna be seeing that in the hayride and I'm almost curious to see how this hayride is going to be, you know, uh, played out this year. I, I'm really uh, excited for the event, and I cannot wait. We're going to be going with TLED Media, so that should be fun. Um, but that is going to do it. This was a very short video. I realized that there's only like four mazes to talk about. I didn't have much to talk about because I don't know what to expect at the event. I'm kind of going to the event blind, so I can get um, surprised when I go through everything. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. What, are you, what is your guys' list for the Haunted Hayride? And if you guys have been in the past, let me know in the comments how it's been. Uh, but my name is Anthony from the Knights 4. And